I knew it was your birthday. I've been really busy. Well, maybe you should have raised me better, Mom. Sorry about that. This video is intended to assist you in operating your one boy phone's buttons and functions. Let's get started. Your menu button has a paper with a folded corner on it. Your voicemail button is marked with an envelope and your hold button, which I just used on my mother, is marked with a universal hand gesture for hold on a minute. Now, in addition to the voicemail button, your one voice phone has a voicemail indicator light above the display screen. If this light is glowing red, you have a waiting voicemail. Below the voicemail, menu, and hold buttons, you'll see your mute, headset, and speakerphone buttons. Each one glows red when activated. If you want to connect the headset and talk hands-free, the port is on the side of your phone cradle. This toggle next to the buttons helps you adjust your volume to a comfortable level, whether on headset, speakerphone, or handset. Now let's familiarize ourselves with the four little buttons below the display screen. There's different functions, whether you're presently dialing a call, in a call, or off of a call. Since I'm off a call at the moment, you'll see on the display screen that the buttons are labeled Redial, DIR, Forward, and DND. &D. The Redial button redials the last number you called. In my case, that would redial my mother, but I'm not going to do that. She's had a few glasses of wine and seems to be in one of those moods. The DIR button brings up the directory, where you can save contact lists of important numbers. The forward button activates your Find Me, Follow Me settings that were set up online through OneVoip. If you're not familiar with Find Me, Follow Me, ask your OneVoip representative. It's an extremely useful feature, and it's not nearly as creepy as it sounds. Finally, while outside of a call, the last button is marked DND for Do Not Disturb. This button, much like the sign you would hang on your hotel room door, keeps people from bothering you. Now, I'm going to begin to dial a number. Notice that when I do so, the dialing menu changes the function of the four display screen buttons. During dialing, the button functions become dial, D-E-L-C-H-R, for delete character, clear, and cancel. When you finish entering the number you wish to call, hitting dial connects you. Hello? Intern, bring me coffee now. Now, let's talk about extensions. In its default setting, your one VoIP phone extension can have up to four lines running simultaneously. However, if you want these settings customized, there are many options your one VoIP representative can offer you. Hey, uh, I wasn't sure how you wanted it, so I got a bunch. Stop talking and hurry up. Now that I'm currently in a phone call, we can see that the options on the display screen have changed. Notice that the four buttons at the bottom of the display screen now read Park, C-O-N-F, B-X-F-E-R, and X-F-E-R. The first of these buttons, Park, sends the call to a parking lot. The parking lot is a kind of shared hold area for calls. It's like being on hold, but now multiple extensions could pick up this call, not just mine. The conf button is used when you want to enter a conference call. The first press of the button puts the current call on hold. After entering the number you want to add to the conference call, hit the dial button that has appeared on the display screen. Once the number you have dialed picks up, hitting the conf button again links the calls. Now let's talk about transferring calls. There are two ways to do this, which is why two of the buttons contain XFER. In a normal transfer, using the XFER button, your first press puts the current call on hold. Then, just like the conference call button, you will be prompted to enter the number to which you want your call transferred. 
hit the dial button and you'll be linked to the person you want to transfer. This gives you a chance to let them know who you're transferring to them. Hello, Mom. I'm transferring you to my intern so you can take your frustrations out on him. All you have to do now is hit the XFER button again to disconnect yourself and link the two calls. The B in the BXFER button stands for blind. A blind transfer works exactly the same way as your standard transfer, just without connecting you to the phone where you're connecting the call. It's a more direct way to make the transfer, but it comes with less warning. This concludes your OneVoip phone's basic functionality instructions. We hope you found this video helpful. For additional questions or assistance in customizing your phone, go ahead and give us a call or reach out to us on our website. Now, where's my coffee?